Yes, the award-winning Emma Omonge right there, Nacho Taka. All right, let's move on to the word of the day. Lakini wiki ni mekutana na posts kadha kadha pale on our socials. There is one netizen who wrote, so much of adulthood is just grieving in secret. You grieve ex-lovers, you grieve dead friendships, you grieve your parents, sinking into old age, you grieve unachieved goals, you grieve lost businesses, you grieve and grieve. That is all about adulthood. And another post ilikuwa inasema hivi, there will be a lot of posts soon from people sharing how much they achieved in 2024. But in case someone needs to hear this, it's okay if the only thing you did this year was just to get through it. Guys, in the midst of all the pressures of December, all pressure, all your expectation that you need to meet a particular target, that your, that your expectation were not met, and also the, what, the goals for 2024 were not met, and you are grieving silently, I'm here to speak to such a person. That even in this December, there's a lot of expectation you for c coming from family, from friends, even from your loved ones, from your siblings that you need to meet. There are a lot of expectations that are coming in, a lot of pressure for as a person that you need <coughs> sorry, to meet this during December. You as a person as well, you also have your own needs that you need to meet. Ziko nyingi, pressure inatoka kila pande, and also inatoka kwako kama mse. All right, I'm here to speak to that person because in the midst of this, there's still one hope. And what is this hope? And we look at two, Psalms 55 verse 22 says, cast your burden on the Lord and he shall sustain you. He shall permit, he shall never, he shall never permit the rushes to be moved. God is just saying, cast all your burdens. What are the burdens? I was even praying today. God burden me, nini? Hey, God only answer. You know what? I prayed until it was 4, 5.30 there. Then I said, let me sleep for 30 minutes. Then prepare to come to work. While in, during that time, I, God gave me a vision, a dream, that's, that actually you, a lot of people are carrying burdens, and these burdens are related to their families, not even friends, families. Kuna wala wase wame beba familia mzima, and December is here. Unambiwa, eh, bro utanilia ile nguo, bro utanilia ile simu, your mom is like, tuma pesa za shopping za Christmas. Your dad is like, suli semo utanijengea hii nyumba. We young people, we are going through a lot of pressure. And, those are, and, and there are those that are hoping that watafanya hii deal so that hiyo pesa itaketa for all those needs. Na hii deal kikosa kuiva na msi. Hii deal isipo ingiana. What will happen? The word of God says, cast your burdens. Cast your burdens unto the Lord. Cast it unto him. Because we need to rely on him rather than to try to do things <coughs> with our own strength. Burdens is ile mzigo mzito mebeba. Even Matthew tells us, Matthew 11, 28, 30, that come to me who are weary. Because all these demands and pressure will weigh you down as an individual if you are alone. But when you are with Christ, it is easy. You just take all those burdens. Unamrushia ngori zote. Unamsho zi. Izi ngori si zangu. Izi ngori ni za. Nizako. And I know it's difficult to do such a thing. But I want us to try this December. When things don't go the way we are expecting. I want us to trust in the Lord. I want, to, I want us to put our hope in God. God will take care of you. God will take care of and God will take care of everything that concerns your life. Everything. He doesn't say this alone. And I say my killer kitu. Now just imagine everything that concerns your life. God is taking care of it. Is your health part of it? Yes. Is money part of it? Yes. Is school part of it? Is it part of everything that God can take care of this? Yes. Is your family part of it? Yes, my goodness. Everything that concerns your life, 
God is going to take care of it. And even Psalms 37, 25 to Lisema, never seen the rushes forsaken. I am old and I've never seen. I was young and now I am old, yet I've never seen the rushes forsaken or their children begging for bread. Are you the rushesness of God in Jesus Christ? Are you the rushesness of God? You are the rushes of God. Now, God can never forsake you, all right? God can never forsake you. And there, there's something that I wrote here. Any concern too small to be turned into, into a prayer is too small to be made into a burden. Iyo concern yako, kidogo, nyonona ni ndogo, ni ndogo kabisa, then it's too small. Nyonona yona ni ndogo wezi yombea, then ni ndogo sana yuwezi kuwa burden. But to kiona ni ndogo neza yombea, now it's a burden. Take it to Christ. That is my my summary, my, my full stop there. If that concern is too small to turn it into a prayer, it is too small to become a burden. Hello. I hope you've been blessed. Andy? Yes. <laughs> mm. Adding to that, yes. there is no condemnation mm. for those in Christ. And nothing will ever be able to separate us from the love of God. So mm. it doesn't matter. Yes. Doesn't matter. No matter the circumstance, mm. you'll make it. Mm. Just dwell in, in the hands of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for yeah. that word, Masawa. All right. Uh, Eh. No, eh. forgive me. Yeah. And someone, you'll get used to Miriam. <laughs> you'll get used, don't worry. And then there's someone asking, how yes. do I become the righteousness of God? Mm. It's simple by accepting Jesus Christ mm. into your life mm. and receive Jesus right now. It's not as complicated. Say this prayer after me. Mm. And we have like one minute to say this prayer. Say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, today, today, I have heard your word. I've heard your and word. And I'm blessed by it. And I'm blessed so by today, it. Today, so today, I accept. I accept Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. I pray. I pray. And believe. And believe to become the righteousness of God. To become the righteousness of God. And I lay down my nature. And lay down my nature. And I take up the nature of Jesus and Christ. And take up the nature of Jesus Christ. Beginning to Today, Begin today, I pray for your forgiveness. I pray for your forgiveness, and I receive the, uh, the cleansing of the blood of Jesus. And I receive the cleansing of blood of Jesus. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. And I believe it in my heart. And I believe it in my heart. Confess it with my mouth. Confess it with my mouth. That I'm born again. That I'm <coughs> born again. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, we thank you for each and every person that has made this prayer. Mm -hmm. And we thank you that they desire the feeling of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Beginning now, God, I pray that may you fill them. You know, wherever they are, the Holy Spirit knows wherever they are because you are an omnipresent.